what's going on guys my name is Ben how are you guys doing today what I have for you today in this video is I'm going to give you a quick recap of Apple's event today that took place on October 27 2016 where they announced uh, uh, some cool stuff right here so let's start off with the first thing that they talked about and excuse me you see me looking this way I'm looking at my secondary monitor I got my notes pulled up uh, I haven't watched the event yet so I, I do plan on watching the event after this video so you know, Apple announced a new TV app uh, for the Apple TV, but it's not a TV streaming service. You know, it's basically an application that kind of searches through uh, all the applications that you have installed uh, on your Apple TV. So, like, uh, you know, it's basically searching through content that was uh, from your applications that are currently installed on your Apple TV. And you can do things such as add required sign-in apps, so that's basically for apps such as HGTV, History, or Live TV in general. You know, basically, uh, you can add those kinds of apps that require you to sign in with an account. And then you can look for TV shows that you uh, love to watch. Uh, that's pretty much what it does. And not only that, it adds a feature where you can sign into all your accounts that you have logged on to the Apple TV all in one shot. So single sign-in, that's what it's called. And you know, it's based, you can use this across your all your iOS devices, but you can't use a Mac, unfortunately, with this app. So, hey, you know, that's basically the rundown of the TV app. And the next thing, which, you know, just by looking at the articles that I've read, it looks like the, this was the big, big thing that Apple discussed about uh, for the remaining uh, time of the event. And this uh, was a big thing. They redesigned the MacBook Pro. So if you guys didn't know, before this event happened, uh, Apple did redesign the MacBook Pro a few years ago, I think. And, you know, they called it the MacBook Pro with Retina Display. Now, it's just MacBook Pro, but it's got a new design to it and a new look with an addition to it. So, you know, it has this OLED bar with the new design. And um, this OLED bar uh, is a retina display, multi-touch display. Uh, and, you know, this uh, OLED bar is used uh, to adapt to whatever software you're using. So, you know, for instance, if you were using the Safari app, you know uh, all the controls you have at the top toolbar. Those are going to be coming down to that uh, touch bar right there. Not only that, this also has Touch ID on there. So you can actually scan your fingerprint on your laptop now. And there are two different sizes for this MacBook. You got the 13 and 15 inch available in either the color space gray or silver. Not only that, you have a new trackpad and it has gotten bigger. Not only that, it has the force touch feature on there. With a new keyboard, of course, with that butterfly uh, shim design you know, or that butterfly mechanism. Not only that, the screen has a 67% brighter uh, screen, uh, brighter display, excuse me, with a higher contrast ratio at 67%. Now, for the 15 inch model, it's going to come with a Core i7 processor, uh, Radeon Pro graphics with a polarized uh, architecture to it. It's going to have a faster solid state drive built in that can go up to two terabytes. So it depends on how you're configuring the computer you know, to your liking. And it, it's going to have Thunderbolt 3 ports that will support USB-C. And Apple is claiming this is going to have all day battery life. So 10 hours of battery life. That's close to half a day right there. Half a day will be 12 hours. And I'm pretty interested to see uh, if... You know, this macro pro can actually last that long you know you know it makes me want to get one of these myself now you could also get a macro pro without the touch bar if you do not want the touch bar you know, just because you find it finicky and useless or maybe you have no use for it or you just want to save a little bit of money well if you want to get the one without the touch bar that's the base model right there which is going to come with a core i5 processor eight gigs of memory and 256 gigabytes of solid state storage at least now as far as price is concerned the base 13 inch model is going to start you off at $14.99 so that's a thousand no four hundred and ninety nine bucks and 
the upgraded 13 inch version will start you uh, is going to run 17.99 then when you go to the 15 inch model it's going to be starting at 23.99 but the base model is going to shift today so you know just by looking at the pictures uh, of this new macro pro i must say it looks very sleek i mean i'll be honest with you guys i have said in the past that i'm not too crazy about apple's ios products lately but you know the mac products is just something that actually gets me a little bit more excited about their ecosystem because uh, you know the mac is just uh, uh, different for me because i don't use those very often i mean i'm loving this mac pro that i'm using right now uh, that it is actually almost a full year since i've had it and uh, you know whatever apple does with the mac operating system uh, i mean whether it gets a little bit interesting or not you know i feel like they're actually really kicking it off just by uh, the hardware that they make you know, to utilize the software i at least i think they do it uh, a little bit better with the mac hardware than they do with ios but you know uh, 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 that's just how i feel so you know that's pretty much apple's uh, event today i mean what do you guys think are you guys excited for uh, this new macro pro or are you not excited i mean what about the tv app do you think that's kind of cool or you don't care because you don't use the apple tv at all i mean i'm curious to see what you guys are saying in the comments down below thanks so much for watching please subscribe rate comment you know as you can see uh, there wasn't too much that i found out of it but it uh, apparently apple did take uh, a long period of time to discuss the new MacBook Pro, and it looks like um, uh, there's going to be lots of excitement over it. So I look forward to seeing how this is going to work out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.